Hey guys, I hope you all are doing well. So expectations were sky high when Samsung and AMD announced that they were working together on a GPU for the former Exynos processor. According to the source, the AMD equipped Exynos 2200 silicon could potentially outform Apple's smartphone chip which is widely regarded as the best in the industry. Those reports now appears to have been greatly exaggerated. And now, as expected, Samsung has unveiled the SoC which is based on ARM's latest ARM v9 cores, which are faster and more power efficient than the design used in the preceding Exynos 2100. Let me also tell you, when compared to the Exynos 2100, the chip also benefits for the considerably more sophisticated 4nm manufacturing technology and provides twice the NPU performance. While it's thrilling that Samsung's new GPU, codename Xclips, may deliver console-level gaming to the company's upcoming flagship series, the Galaxy S22, there are no figures to back it up. Samsung is expected to unveil more details in the coming weeks, but for now, we have some performance benchmarks from my smart prize, Ishan Agarwal, a well-known leaker, is the source of the information. Here are the Galaxy S22 Ultra's results. This will be a quick comparison between the Exynos 2200 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 which will provide you with a nice idea. So here are the benchmark scores for the 8 Gen 1. The single score is 1235 while the multi score is 3873. The Exynos 2200 scored in the single score 1108 and in multi score 3516. As you can see, Snapdragon is in the lead year after year. To put it in simple, the Antutu score have also appeared online. As you can see on the screen, the Antutu result of the Exynos 2200 is 9,65,874 while the Antutu score of the 8 Gen 1 is 9,77,613. There is an 11,000 plus difference between the two scores with the 8 Gen 1 taking the lead. Here is a one more reason Samsung boost that the Exynos 2200 has doubled the performance of the Exynos 2100 thanks to its dual core NPU and DPS. On the other side, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 contains a triple core NPU. Ice Universe has also published some results which suggest that using an AMD GPU doesn't make a significant difference. Based on this data, it appears that the Galaxy S22 devices powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 will perform better than those powered by Exynos 2200. But how this will transfer in the real world use remains to be seen. Snapdragon appears to be in the lead on paper but we must wait until the launch to see the true result as optimization also plays an important role. We should know more about this as the Galaxy S22 series goes on sale. The phones are expected to be released on February. 24th according to rumors. So what do you think about this Exynos 2200 CPU or you are a Snapdragon fan let me know in the comment section below. With that said subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.